ambition. But I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. The Arisen is capricious indeed. I am well enough, thank you. Boy there, friend. Care. All I ask is that you hear my request. My thanks, sir. I've been holding off. Only trouble is, there is that's where you come in. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and sit splendid. I'm now. The carts only departed, sir. And mind you, don't forget to pay your each cart. So anyone thinking pat enough of my lecturing? Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time. Seeing come, find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Welcome home, young master. Thank you, Diana. It was a hard journey. I only hope Mother will be pleased. Oh, a blue sunbright. Oh, no. They're rather rare, though. And particularly... Really? Well... A picture, you say? I believe Miss Daphne is describing a book plate. The book in quest... Indeed. The mistress has put you. Oh, I think I could arrange that. Yes. Well, all this racket. What's going on? Good gracious, what is the meaning of this? Oh, you must be the lady who's been... What precisely have you told this girl? Not a word, mistress. Good. As for you, girl, you need not thank me. Do be sure to leave the house unseen, and fare you well, child. Know that wherever... Come, Diana. I would speak... What was that all about? Mother see... I do wonder what that was all about. Though I'm not sure we ought to pry. It is done, for good or ill. As to which, that is surely a matter of perspective. Beg pardon, see, a friend of mine had an empty house, but no use for it. And I see it wouldn't come free, mind. But the price is a fair one, and you'd have a... Well, you needn't decide this fair... There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? I am honored to... Yes, sir. Ah. Give me. If that's not the case, you are... Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Sp Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the- Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. As servants of the gracious hand. Yet, at times, perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you- An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now, by chance, he was examined by a roaming man, claiming to be a doctor. So, 
he was put into up. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best- Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now. Psst. You there. Help me. Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see... This is generally used as a material. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. A moment's prayer can... Good day, sir. Each of our patients deserves... Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the... None of the other sisters are permitted entry. Tell is. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I... W which is to, to be expected. Those... And yet... A part of... So... The worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer... And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess, you've done this much for me. Would you be willing to... Oh, you've my thanks. I, of course, all the better should your search come to naught. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you, so I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need. Aught about this reeks of a plot. Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. You have my support. I spend my days in quiet... I know not why. But the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? Splendid. Beg pardon, sir, but this room is where our most severe cases convalesce. The patients in this room must not be disturbed.
Chaos in the world begins with... Got something for me? You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the basement's... I... I don't like the sound. Do you think... Could I trouble you? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He said, pray, sir, do what you can. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Radcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. Indeed, you are correct. There's a ladder here. Oh, excellent find. We're to see this letter to Sir Leonard and Melv. Shall we board the ox cart as directed, Master? Mm -hmm. I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. In every end, hence, horns are treated with not to mention. They are skipped his clear. Life and death differs crucially from this ox. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. What can I do for you? Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, though. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. We'd best report back. Ere since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee, the fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? 
with Malv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village entire will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor! I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if naught else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns... You've heard she fled the village, I. Though that is the case, she would never truly abandon. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge. Protecting as for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the Overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. He really ought to have returned by now. There's so much to it. This ox cart's bound. I'll need to see some coin before I let you. What ought I to do?
Ah, you've returned. How did you fare on... Splendid! The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. Ox carts seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. <laughs> Methinks I have an idea of where Sir Ulrika might have gone. Oh, I can't complain. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of... Oh, tis obvious, no? I am an agent. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's up. So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Understandable. Still... Make me lose my nerve. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? What was that? Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. He is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle- We will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you, wait till then. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Huzzah! A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're... You wouldn't have to have stolen from me while I was delivering it. And if Master ever... There's no exaggeration. He's had people killed to be quite truthful. I didn't... Working under a man such as him, I'd only... Unless... Unless you were to find it. The Jedi talk could be anywhere now. Perchance we ought to speak with someone who has experience in banditry. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then but On the transference of... It is not like to do much... Take care how you use it, sir. Ah, 
I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Hope to see you again. The Jedi Torb is safely in hand. Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. Morris, I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. W w what? No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after... Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? Do, do, do you truly mean... If you return him to me, I will be... Shall we seek some answers?